This video is going to be about peroxisomes. So peroxisomes are uh, organelles that only have a single membrane in our cell. So what a peroxisome does is it's going to take hydrogen from a bunch of different cellular uh, locations and reactions and add it to oxygen to make hydrogen peroxide or H2O2. So um, this is really helpful for our cells because we can use this to um, break down fatty acids and then send those components to the mitochondria to be used to make energy. Um, peroxisomes in our liver are important in detoxifying things like alcohol and other substances. So the uh, process of producing this hydrogen peroxide is very useful to us, but once we've made it, now we have another problem. So hydrogen peroxide is actually very toxic to our cells, so we have to have some way to be able to handle this. So the way that uh, our bodies do it and the peroxisomes do it is they contain an enzyme called catalase. So what catalase is going to do is it's going to break down this hydrogen peroxide um, into uh, components that are no longer toxic to our cells, and so it detoxifies um, this hydrogen peroxide. And so um, this whole process um, of producing hydrogen peroxide and then breaking it down, so those are going to be examples of oxidation and reduction reactions, which you'll go uh, into more detail about in chemistry, but um, those concepts are very important and we see them a lot in different biological reactions. So peroxisomes, unlike um, some other organelles in our bodies, we're not really sure where peroxisomes came from uh, or how they got incorporated into eukaryotic cells. So um, peroxisomes, we can see them in our cells getting larger when they engulf proteins from uh, our cytoplasm or from the ER and the Golgi. So they do get larger and um, eventually when they get too large, they sometimes pinch off and produce um, new peroxisomes. So some people argue that that might be proof of um, something similar to mitochondria and chloroplasts and uh, an endosymbiont theory uh, kind of situation, but others argue against that. But we're not really 100% sure where, we came, where they came from, but we are sure that they do produce hydrogen peroxide from take, by taking hydrogen from other places within the cell and then break that hydrogen peroxide down using catalase into substances that are no longer toxic to our cells. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu tutoring. Thank you.